Hi guys, welcome back to D Diets. How are you? If you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I hope you're all having a good day. You know what I'm doing today? No, you don't, you don't. You have no clue what I'm doing today. I'm making an Italian meatloaf. He just left for work. I want something simple. I, again, I don't know how many times I have to tell people I like stuff that's simple, 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 that can last and stretch for days. So it's a really easy recipe to make, and it really, really is. On the stove, I have my own homemade sauce, which I call bravery, but you can use a jar sauce, any kind of sauce that you like, tomato sauce, but any kind that you like. So let's begin. You don't have to see me. I'm gonna add the ingredients into the bowl and let's make this meatloaf. Yes. Okay, in this bowl, I have two pounds of ground round. I'm going to add in two eggs. There we go. And I have spices. I have salt, I have basil, I have oregano. I have thyme. Everything is right in here. These are dry and I'm just gonna sprinkle them all over. Then I have a half a cup of good Parmesan cheese. Oh, ho, ho. after all, it's an Italian meatloaf. Then I have a cup of um, seasoned breadcrumbs. Hello, right in. And of course, I have to get a spoon out. I'm running low, I have to get more. A nice big heaping. Oh, let's just finish it off for goodness sakes. There we go, of garlic. Use as much as you like. There we go. And now, with the gifts that God has given us, yes, these are impeccably clean hands. Yes, they are. Anyway, <laughs> dig in. Let's do. Let's mush and mush and mush. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, that's gonna be so good. Oh, you should smell the garlic. I could smell the garlic and I could smell the dried herbs. Quickly, quickly. I can. Now we're just gonna add about a half a cup of water to this. So let me get it. Okay. Oh, doesn't that look great? It's gonna be so good. Let me see if I need more. Almost a cup, oh, there it goes, spilling all over. I wanted to stay neat and clean. Okay, you know what? I'll use a whole cup of water. There we go, there we go. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna wash my hands and we're going to form this meatloaf. See, it was easy. Okay, I'm back. Now I want you to see that I have a foil pan and I do, and then I have a piece of parchment paper. I hate to ruin my, tin, my pans, I really do. So I'm gonna squish this down and then we're gonna do a little line like this. Do you see me going down here? And then we have some fresh mozzarella. Oh, did you think I wouldn't? There we go. I'm gonna line all that delicious, and we're gonna put, pack that in there. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna pack it in. Oh yes, we are. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay. Then we're gonna take the remaining part of our meat. You know, it's like building. We're building. We're building. Okay. Already. Slap it. Slap it down. <laughs> you know, get your frustrations out on it. Now, don't be surprised if you see cheese. Now, if you really try to pat it as tight as you can, too much cheese shouldn't leak out. But slap it good. Slap it good. Okay. There we go. Do you like the sound of this? <laughs> but I'm showing you, I'm showing you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, tell me that's not simple. We're gonna put a little bit of the sauce on top and throw it into a 350 degrees oven for about an hour. 
Would you like to see my homemade sauce? Doesn't look beautiful. Now what you're seeing is olive oil on the top, naturally. I put some onion in here, some garlic in here, and I'm just gonna take a smidge, not much, just a smidge. There you go. Oh, it's gonna taste so good. It's going directly into the oven, so I'm not worried that I'm putting something hot on it. It's already going into a 350 degrees oven. And I'm not putting that much on, can you tell? I'm not putting a lot of sauce on it. I'm just glazing it. That's all I'm doing. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh my goodness, it does smell really good. Now, I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> and we're gonna put it in the oven. Now, isn't that easy? It really is simple to do. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love leftovers for the fact that I don't wanna cook every single day. I love it because Doug will eat leftovers every single day. He doesn't care. Like as long as there's a plate of food in that refrigerator, it can be the same thing every single night, he doesn't care. Thank God. <laughs> because I hate being in the kitchen all the time. I have other things to do after all, I really do. Anyway, let it cook for about an hour and it should be stiff. You know what I mean? They'll be hard and It'll be hard, and that way you'll, you'll, you'll know when it's done. You'll know when it's done, and when I take it out of the oven, you'll see how it is. And then, of course, I'm gonna make some spaghetti. Uh, yeah, or rigatoni, or penne, one of those. And I made that sauce, so guess what? We're gonna have some Italian meatballs, I mean, Italian meatloaf, and we're gonna have some pasta. I know, don't shoot me. But that's what I'm making, that's what I'm having. You know, when you come to the channel, I'm going to be real with you. When you come to the channel, even though it is called D-Diets, like I said, I've been on a million of them. A million. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, once in a while, I like to have something a little different other than the same old, same old. And I think you guys would like to have something a little different. It's all moderation. Let's be real. It's all moderation. So, I'm going to let it cook. I'll come back. I'll show you the finished product. And it's going to be scrum delicious. Yes, it will. I'll see you later. Hey, let's cut into it. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, 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 oh. oh, my goodness. Do you see that? You see the good mozzarella right inside? I'm just going to put that on a plate. I'll present it to you on a plate. Do you see how beautifully it held together? You know, we had to slap it a few times, but it worked. Oh, that looks so good. There we go. Look at that. Mmm. Doesn't that look spectacular? I wish you could smell it. Now we'll take a bite. Well, we're sitting at the table. I must show you. Look at this. Isn't this spectacular? These are some rigatoni, rutadeli. Did I say rigatoni? Rutadeli, the meatloaf. This is just a cup of pasta. And of course, a little sprinkling of Parmesan cheese on top. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look spectacular? Let me show it to you again. Oh. There you go. Would you like a bite? I got two jamokis back here that would love a bite. Let's try the meatloaf first. I put a little bit of sauce, which Italians call gravy, just so that you know. And I know most people think of gravy as brown sauce, but Italians, especially from New York, we call it gravy. Uh, all right. Would you like a bite first? Would you, would you like a bite? Thank you, God. Mmm. That's quite delicious. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Easy and simple. Now we'll try some of the pasta. Mmm. Hello. Oh. <laughs> 
feels the vibe. Mm. Al dente. Mm. To the bite. Now I made my own homemade sauce, but you can use any sauce. When I make my homemade sauce, just so that you all know, my homemade gravy, I get pork neck bones and sausage. I brown them real good. Then I put, and I brown them in olive oil. Then I put in onions, I put in garlic, I put the tomatoes in, delicious. A little bit of tomato paste and let it cook for hours, <laughs> hours. And then once it cooks, sometimes I add the meatballs to it. Mm, the flavor and the basil at the end, the basil at the end. To your health, crystal light. I know I should be sitting here with a cocktail, but to your health. Oh, that is so good. You know, you can't eat this fast. You have to savor every single bite. Should we go in for another? Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. Now you saw how easy this was to make and it was so simple. Anybody can do this, right, in a pinch? I have meals that'll last for days now because I don't want to cook every single day. I've said that before. Mmm. The mozzarella in here. I grabbed a piece of the mozzarella out. Mmm. Mmm. It's all so delicious. Well, I will finish this. Until I see you all again, be kind to one another. The heart, that's all that matters, truly. And Anytime you want to join me for supper or lunch or dinner, let me know. I'll be happy to have you here at my table. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.